Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to be doing Morticia Adams. As you can see, I already glued down her brows because we're going to be uh, giving her those Morticia thin brows, even though she could have honestly gone away with her own brows. But I just made it difficult. That's just me. So right here I'm taking the color Password and I'm uh, running it all through her crease. After that, I grabbed the NYX Roll-On Shimmer in the color Silver, and I started um, dabbing some of it on her eyelid. After that, I got really frustrated, so I just decided to go in with the, the whole shimmer stick. I used a Fix Plus on my brush just to pat that down to give it more of a metallic feel. Yes. So pat down as you go, kind of like if you were doing a cut crease, just to give the illusion of a big eyelid space. Um, she already has one, so it was really easy, but if you don't, you can totally get that look by doing a semi-cut crease. <laughs> um, after that, I went in with uh, two dark colors from the Smoky palette. It was a blue one and a black one. I mixed those together, and then I started creating more of a smoky effect towards the outer lid. Remember to go in with a clean brush and just blend any harsh lines just to diffuse everything nicely. Um, also, bring in the shadow to the bridge of her nose so that you can start getting that nose contour and you'll be able to see where your brow is going to start. Then I go in with my trusty NYC liner and I just start creating a wing. Keep it thin towards the inner corner and a little bit thicker out towards the out. It doesn't matter, you can go as long as you want, or you can keep it small and simple. Like this. I go in with the clean brush again, just blending any harsh lines. I then went in with a Max Pencil in Smolder, and I just started putting that all up in her waterline to get a nice, sultry eye. So now to match her forehead to her whole face. Um, so grabbing a foundation that's clearly very light. <laughs> um, I'm grabbing a sponge and I'm just going to dab that all over her face. I'm bringing it down to her chest as well and any visible areas like her hands, her neck, and so forth. Now that we're all pale, it's time to set everything. So I'm grabbing my translucent powder from Airspun and just setting everything. Her under eye, her whole face, her chest, pretty much her whole body. Who's ready to contour? Because <laughs> Morticia is. Um, and obviously we know she's known for her very prominent cheekbones. So we're going to just take a topier color not so much with any orange undertones at all nothing none of that so right here i'm taking the shade and light palette from kat von d and i'm using all the contour shades um i started with the light one but then i went in with the darker one to give it more depth And right here, you can see it starts to create the illusion of a higher cheekbone. Don't be afraid to go a little bit darker. Actually, when I did finish, I kind of wish I would have went a little bit heavier on the contour just to give that illusion. Going back with a dark shade I used on her crease, I'm just going to go on her bottom lash line and smudge it out slightly. I don't want to go... I don't want to drag it down too far because Morticia only has like a tight line kind of smudge. Now grabbing a red like a lipstick. Um, this one's Mary Jo K from Kylie Cosmetics. We're just going to fill in her lips with this. Um, I forgot to film the part where I put a little bit of gloss in the center of her lips. But you can just add any little clear gloss just to give it that final touch. Um, also, we only did mascara for this look. We didn't want to go all out with the falsies. We wanted to keep it more true to the movie type of makeup she had. So I strongly apologize uh, because I did film her brows off camera not knowing. I totally thought I filmed the whole thing and then I looked back at the camera since this was the most time consuming. 
um, I wasn't aware that I wasn't filming. All I did was go over her natural brown brow and I just uh, rounded it off more. I also went back with a concealer and just cleaned it up to make it a little bit more thinner, like this. And here you guys have it. This is my Morticia Adams. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And happy Halloween, guys. Yeah, creep.